It's 9 a.m. here in Manhattan as we are now entering the final phase of the first criminal trial of a former president. Donald Trump is inside that courtroom right there on the right side of your screen as the prosecution's final and maybe most important witness, Michael Cohen, is about to retake the stand. Moments ago, the judge here, Juan Mershon, just informed the court that he does expect closing arguments will not happen this week, but he does expect them to happen next Tuesday. That means there is no chance of a verdict this week. Welcome to CNN's special live coverage. I'm Caitlin Collins in New York. And I'm Jake Tapper in Washington. In minutes, testimony resumes with a third day of cross-examination for Michael Cohen, the former Trump do-it-all fixer turned witness for the prosecution. Todd Blanche, Trump's attorney, will again ask the questions. The Trump attorney landed several notable blows on Cohen, underlining seeming inconsistencies in Cohen's memory. At one point, Blanche accused Cohen of inventing, apparently out of thin air, a conversation with Donald Trump about the payment at the heart of the trial, the hush money intended to silence adult film star and director Stormy Daniels. Two critical and unanswered questions this hour. What will the defense presentation look like? Will they call any witnesses? One of the only events remaining that could extend the duration of the trial would bend history and break good legal counsel if Trump takes the stand in his own defense. We're going to start our coverage in New York with Caitlin. 